Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and today is day five of the Inktober Drawing Challenge. So the word prompt for today is chicken, so no prizes for guessing what I'm painting today. But my aims for doing this chicken were to try and use my dip pen a bit more and experiment with doing outlines in colour rather than in black ink and kind of using the bleeding technique with the wet on wet with not too much detail around the main body or the feathers of the chicken but I did want to use a fairly limited palette and just use my Bombay India inks for this so I wanted to put a bit more detail into the face and beak of the chicken but I didn't want to get too bogged down with details on the feathers of the neck and body so I did really enjoy kind of being a bit looser with yesterday's cat picture and was hoping to try and limit the time that I was doing this painting for to around the one hour mark again. So I started off using the wet in wet technique and as you saw just using the dip pen into the red ink and going around the outline of the red area and watching those colours bleed in and then I did try and experiment with a cotton bud as well just lifting off certain areas so it wasn't just one flat colour for the red part. I don't know what that part of the chicken is called so I'm just going to call it the red part and I then repeated that process down underneath the beak as well. So I also wanted today to try adding a splattery effect and you'll kind of see me trying that out later on towards the end of the piece. So that I thought would give it a bit of something different and add in a bit of interest and spontaneity. But so far as the head of the chicken was concerned, after I'd done the dip pen, I did just go in and add some richer colour, some more concentrated colour into certain areas and then kind of add in some shading whilst it was still wet as well. And I was really pleased with how that turned out. So for the neck of the chicken, I used the same kind of technique, again using just neat Bombay ink in a yellow ochre I think it was and just applying that straight out of the bottle with my dip pen. And I really like the way that it does just bleed in and I was able to put in a few details with the dip pen as well and once that had dried I was hoping that, that would still sort of show the details and wouldn't just wash out and turn into a flat background. So I wanted to have a few more details around the face and eye of the chicken. So then for the main neck and the rest of the chicken, I did just add in some more of the wet and wet technique using the same color, but then was keen to kind of drop in some different colors as I've been really enjoying the whole sort of process of watching those inks blend together on the wet paper. So I do find this technique is quite quick actually and I was able to stay within the one hour time limit that I'd set myself again today. I may not be able to do it on every drawing but that is kind of going to be my new aim. So aiming for about an hour per piece kind of gives me a bit of a, um, a chance to speed up and kind of not th overthink things too much and be a bit more spontaneous so I think as much as it was uncomfortable yesterday being restricted in that way it did kind of help me to to make decisions quite quickly and not overthink things too much another thing that I was keen to do today was not to put too much detail in for the feathers of the neck and body of the chicken and so I just wanted to kind of put in a, a bit of a, a clue as to what was going on a little bit of texture and I was keen to sort of try and do 
more of a suggestion of what the feathers should be like without spending hours on doing individual details and feathers. So towards the bottom of the painting I did kind of leave some of those quite loose and um, more kind of unfinished I suppose but I quite like that and that's something else that I want to practice a little bit more in future Inktober days. So once I got the main colours down it was just a case of refining and darkening up some of those areas as they dried. So all in all I did really enjoy today's painting, I did feel a lot more in control, a lot more relaxed and still managed to do it in the time that I'd set for myself which was just over an hour. And I think there's a few things that I'll be taking away from today, so that is perhaps to try the, the sort of um, technique I was talking about just then, about not completely finishing it off and feeling like you've got to do every last piece of the animal so carrying on with that unfinished look a little bit at the bottom maybe trying that again and also I'll be looking forward to trying using the dip pen a little bit more as well because I think that gave some really nice effects so all in all I would say this is probably my favorite piece so far I have enjoyed the process it's been done fairly quickly and I didn't feel out of control or anything like that so I think progress is being made and it's only day five so I know there's still a long way to go but I'm looking forward to seeing where the rest of the month takes me so I'm just going in and putting in a few more colors now just to darken up certain areas as it dries and intensify some of those really nice bright colors And once that was done it was then on to the splattering effect which I said I was keen to try however I'm not entirely sure whether I pulled this off and that's something that I still like but perhaps I need a bit more practice or confidence with but that's it for today another piece done if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a comment thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more of my Inktober videos and I will see you all again tomorrow